Hi everybody, welcome back to Villains and Vice. I'm Beth, and it's time for another Bibbity Box unboxing. Familiar with Bibbity Boxes, they're a monthly subscription box that gets delivered to your house every month. You can choose from different fandoms. We do the Disney box, I love it. We do the Ultimate Magic box, it's $119 a month plus shipping, and it's always fantastic. I have a really detailed preference sheet that lists my favorite characters, favorite movies, things that I collect, things that I don't collect, things that I do and don't want in my box, and I skip the wish list part of it and they always knock it out of the park. This box is actually last month's box and it only arrived one day before this month's box. This is my February box. Um, they were very good about communicating what the issue was. They said they were waiting for one of the items that was in their warehouse to get to them. And I was like, yeah, it's no, no problem, I'll wait. I'm excited to see what's in it and see if it was worth the wait. So let's get into it. This month's box came inside just like a, a regular box, which is which is interesting. I haven't gotten one like that in a long time. So we'll open it and see what that's all about. <sighs> Cut away from yourself. in here it's just this big box so that's what it looks like no foozles this time got the bag here's my cheat sheet packing slip we'll put that off to the side um i don't really know where to start um i'm pretty sure i know what this larger item is just given the shape of it so we'll take the bag out and see what we've got in here I like the bag, it's so much nicer than the foozles. The bag doesn't make a mess. And it's a nice drawstring bag that you can reuse later. Interesting, okay, I'm trying so hard not to look. Um, usually I have like some smaller items. Oh, there is a smaller item, but they're like two boxes. There's this big guy and then two boxes. Oh, so cute. So this is just, it's a little tiny keychain. You've seen their um, Disney series of alphabet keychains with each letter corresponding to a character. This is the Q. This is the Evil Queen. Cute. It's her crown and her collar. I love that. And this is. Disney Parks Resorts exclusive. Very cute, I'll have to put that on some of our keys. Y'all know I love the Evil Queen. And what else do I got in here? <laughs> How cute! So it is the Queen of Hearts Funko Pop <laughs> with the King. And if you know me, I am an out-of-the-box collector, so I'm going to take her out. There's a whole Alice in Wonderland series with Alice, the Cheshire Cat, Mad Hatter, the March Hare, White Rabbit, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and then of course, Queen of Hearts. And I definitely emphasize on my preference sheet that I like the villains. Oh, I didn't realize that the, <laughs> the little king is all by her myself. Cute. And here is his queen. She's holding up her dress. There's her little heart in her hand. She's <laughs> cute. 
The little bun in the back with the cards. Oh, she's adorable. I love her. They will go great in my Villains Pop collection. Very cute. I like her. All right, next item. Is a Darth Vader mug and I don't think we have this one you know we love a mug you just I don't know, I feel like you can't have too many mugs I mean you probably can and we probably do but I still love a mug sure is going to commandeer this. He is Mike's all-time favorite Disney character. If you lump Star Wars into Disney, his fave is Darth Vader. But you've got the de great detail in his mask and it even goes all the way around to the back. It's the whole shape of his helmet. Super cool. Love that. Can't wait to show Mike. I'll be excited. All right. And then my last item in the box. I am pretty sure it's a lounge fly. It's shaped like a lounge fly. Feels like a lounge fly. It is a lounge fly. Wait till you see her. It's a her. I have one of her already where she is holding the box. But in this one, holding the poison apple. Look at her. I, one, love her makeup. It like, it matches my fingernails. <laughs> and the detail on her crown, beautiful. And then look at the apple. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like, oh, it's a holographic. Can you see that? I don't know if I can get, oh, there it is, there it is. It's snow! Poison apple, snow! Poison apple, snow! Oh my gosh, that's so cute! And there's more. The handles, the bottom, the straps have poison apples on them. You know the poison apple is my favorite thing. And on the back is the magic mirror. Oh my gosh, this bag is incredible. It actually has little side pockets. They don't, sometimes they're faux pockets, but you could like, you could smush something in there like chapstick or a tissue. Nice little front pocket. Oh yeah, so. If you open up the pocket, it's kind of like the, is it the Cru Cruella one. Look, there's the rest of her face. There's her chin. And then you would have to see the lining. First, paper. Oh my gosh, cute. So it's the Evil Queen. It's all in like red and black. And it has the, I think that's the Huntsman. Gosh, it's so hard to tell. And definitely the Poison Apple. Very cool, very cool. Oh, I absolutely love this. It is another one that I will be afraid to the parks with me because I mean, look it has the it has two pieces that jut out it has the apple and then it has her crown and I'm so paranoid that something will happen to my bags that have the like extended pieces but I oh my gosh I just I love it I love it so much ah, thank you Bimity <laughs> you crushed 
smashed it again like you always do every single freaking month every month i almost forgot here we go my packing slip it's in color this time that's new all right so it doesn't say who packed it this month okay so my Loungefly Disney Villains Scene Evil Queen Apple Mini Backpack was $85. The Star Wars Darth Vader Helmet Sculpted 17 ounce Mug, $21.99. Disney Parks Exclusive Evil Queen Q Character Keychain, $11.99. And my Funko Pop Disney Alice in Wonderland Queen of Hearts with the King, $12.99. For a grand total of $131.97. So a great value yet again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing from my box was this month. And we'll see you next time. Bye.